right, we're live. Hey, shalom, shalom, shalom. 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 Hey, first and foremost, we want to give all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, Rechak Ragash. Of course, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to sincere Akim, holding fast the faith of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, being occupied in his prophecies. And uh, that's what we're talking about, you know, today, being spiritually prepared for the times, you know, getting into these scriptures. You know, being stronger and, and more focused and oriented on all on, on all the prophecies that we see taking place, man. You know, we know ultimately how Bashim Yahushai is going to be what guides us through these times and is going to be our shelter, be our strength. Um, as a matter of fact, do you have an opening precept? Because I was thinking about Proverbs 18. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's funny because I was just thinking that too when you started talking. Come on, yeah, so, hey, man, but the whole thing is, is we got to be equipped mentally and spiritually for the times ahead. You know, really the, the times that, that we're living in as we see the progression of these prophecies coming to pass. And so this is kind of going to be like more of a, uh, uh, not just an exhortation, but, you know, an inspirational, uh, uh, motivational uh, 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 angle, you know, in the spirit. You know, Lord's willing, it'll be edifying. So... Uh, I got, uh, got a precept thing too after this. It's Proverbs 18 and 10. Yeah, let's just start right here with the foundation, man. The foundation of our very belief begins on the names of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and the Son, Yahweh Shah. Uh, and I hope you have the follow-up that I'm thinking of, but if not, we'll get it. Uh, go ahead. Proverbs 18 and 10. The name right. of Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and is safe. Right. And the Lord is going to ultimately deliver us out of all of our troubles. But how is he going to deliver them who aren't calling upon him, right? So we truly believe in the power of within the names of the Most High Yahweh and the Son Yahweh Shai, man. Ever since we came into the truth and we discovered the true names of our power, all right, we have called on Him daily and every single day He delivers us, man, because we believe in that name, because we call upon that name, okay, because we have trust and we have faith in our power. So, um, can I really quick, I know you said you had a precept, but can somebody get me Acts 4? You should, you should already know what I want. Right. Yeah, man. You know, this is the very the, the very beginning of your foundation is, is on the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You got a lot of guys that still deny the power of the name. So if they're denying the power of the name now, when it when the time comes, guess what? The Most High isn't gonna acknowledge you, man. Because you really really didn't have any faith, and now because you're getting that heat on you, you want to try to call on the name as like a last resort. All right, that's not how this thing goes, man. You're supposed to continue in the faith all the way through, man. That's what it is to be faithful. That's what it is to be loyal. That's what it is to be integral. All right, and have a sense of integrity. All right, go ahead. Uh, this is Acts chapter 4, verse 12. It says, Neither is there salvation in any other. There is no salvation in any other but Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. All right. There ain't going to be nothing else that's going to deliver us from the times ahead. All right? From the famine, from martial law, from the hour of temptation, okay? From death, and ultimately from the fire. See how about Shem Yahweh Shai? Go ahead. It says, For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. There's none other name. Read that again. Let the scripture speak. Read it again. It says, For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Whereby we must be saved. So through the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we will be saved. All right? So starting right there, man, being spiritually equipped to maintain ourselves and the Lord willing, uh, you know, be able to survive during these times to the Spirit. Begins with the name, man. Okay, go ahead. So, so this is just going to encompass basically everything, right? So back in what you're, you know, what the brother's saying is, you know, when it comes down to it, when push comes to shove, the only one we're going to be able to rely on to, to receive salvation, to re receive any type of redemption, is going to be through Yahweh Hashem Shai. You know, even from when, when like, the, the shit hits the fan, the only one we're going to be able to rely and trust on is Yahweh Hashem Shai, as, as what David did, right? And this is uh, 2, Samuel, 2 Samuel 22 and 1. It says, and David spake unto Yahweh the words of this of this song in the day that Yahweh had delivered him out of the hand of all his enemies and out of the hand of Saul. 
And he said on, and he said, Yahweh is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. The power of my rock, in him will I trust. He is my shield and the horn of my salvation, my high tower and my refuge, my savior. Thou savest me from violence. I will call on Yahweh who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. Right, and that, that I mean, that, that really said a lot, man. That's, that's, that's a power, very weighty scripture, man. Read it again. Go on, yes. Read it again. 2 Samuel 22 and 1. And David spake unto Yahweh the words of this song in the day that Yahweh had delivered him out of the hand of all his enemies. Right, so there's coming a time where we're going to have to rely on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to deliver us from the power of all of our enemies, man. From two thirds wilding out out here. Mm -hmm. Okay? Esau from the power of the, the, the Lord sword, Esau, yeah. Edom. Uh, you know, these heathen. Yep. Yeah. Okay, these, these different beasts. Because remember, there's going to be a different spirit out here. There ain't no man that's going to be able to save you out of this. Yeah. All men, women, and children are going to be subject to death out here. Yeah. Yeah. They need a savior. You know, but the difference is the Lord has only the elect in which he's going to be saving. And we're hoping that we're a part of that number. That's why we've been equipping ourselves since hearing about the truth, man, trying to stay diligent, trying to stay in this fight because we know that our life depends on it. Um, real quick, not to segue, we're going to jump right back to that. Give me Proverbs 4. Okay. Proverbs 4 and uh, read around the seventh verse. Okay. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 4. Is... Seven? Yeah, start at seven. I, I, if it's not the exact verse, I'll tell you where to jump yeah, down. It's, it's four, sir. Yeah, Proverbs chapter four is seven. Right. It says, "Wisdom is the principal thing; therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, good understanding." Con. Now, that that's exactly it. Now go down to thirteen. Verse thirteen. Take fast hold of instruction. Take fast hold of instruction. Now we've been instructed. Well, really, let me rephrase that. Through the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, our leaders, okay, our teachers who have been instructing us well, teaching the prophecies, okay, showing us what we need to do as men to protect ourselves, our families, okay, our children, our loved ones, by being spiritually equipped to maintain ourselves in this truth. They've been instructing us through this wisdom, this knowledge and understanding, okay? And it's up to us to continue in those things in which we have learned to preserve ourselves and our families and our loved ones. So it's going to conclude it. Go ahead. Let's take fast hold of instruction, which are these scriptures. This is what we are supposed to be practicing in order to stay in the good graces of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, to survive and to live a fruitful life, okay? And to Lord's will receive that salvation come on and let her not go keep her and she is keep her for she is thy life keep her for she is thy life God, so. come on. and that says it all this instruction is our life man this is our lifeline this is what is going to allow us to endure all things so that we may be saved man all right by putting into practice what it is that we learn from these precepts all right, beginning with keeping the commandments, okay, calling on the names of our power, and doing well in the sight of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, doing what's acceptable in, uh, 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 in his sight. Go ahead. Come on, this is the book of Sirach, chapter 19, and verse 19. And it says, The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life, Oof. and they that do things that please him shall, shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. Yeah, and that's what we're fighting for, man. You know, we're fighting for immortality. We want to be part of that, that number that literally don't have to taste of death. You know, we get beamed up into the chariots. We shed these corruptible bodies of death, of darkness. We get the new bodies. We get changed in the twinkling of an eye, as the scriptures say. You know, that's what we're trying to hold on to, man. That's our hope. And that whether it be famine... Okay, whether it be the hour of temptation, the Lord delivers us out of all of our troubles. And the, and the Lord said he would. The Lord said he was going to deliver us out of all of those things. And we truly believe that. 
So as long as we're fulfilling the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and righteousness and being acceptable in his sight. Okay? So again, you know, as the title of the lesson is, we're spiritually preparing ourselves for these times in which we're living in. Not that are coming, but that rather we're living in, okay? Because we're in the beginning of all these sorrows and troubles, man. So it's only going to progress in advance and become much worse, man. You know, like brothers have said before me, it's going to come to a point where you're going to wake up one day and there ain't going to be no electricity, right? You know? It's, it's going to be a lights out scenario. People are going to bug out. And, and, and it's going to be up to you to now put into practice everything that you've been learning and preparing for spiritually, man. Right. So if you haven't been inclined and attentive into the doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you're going to be lost out here, man. You're not going to know what to do. Your strength is going to fail you because you haven't been spiritually preparing like you should have been this whole time. You know, go ahead. Verse 20, it says, The fear of Yahweh is all wisdom, and, and all wisdom is the performance of the law and the knowledge of his I'm important. I was just I was just looking at that preset too. I got another pre I got a backup preset for mm -hmm. that, but I, I was just wanted to uh, just uh, go, go into that real quick. Uh re read what you said and break, break it down real quick. Okay. Yeah, it is. I'm trying to pull I'm trying to try to set it. Yeah, just pull it up because I know brothers are uh, no they are they are but leaving comments. Yeah, I was, I, was gonna, I was gonna comment back. Can you put it back to me? Yeah, I, I, forgot. Says, uh, real no, I, quick. I got you. I'm gonna read it again. It says the fear of Yahweh is all wisdom. In in all wisdom is the performance of the law, all right. Which we know that the the, the, the first thing of it, like you're going, yeah, you shy. You got prop, you get prop verse one. You know what I'm talking about? With uh, going to the um, fear of the Lord, the beginning of wisdom, something like that. Like that. Proverbs one thirteen. Read that, Bobby Kishai. All right. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7 says the fear of Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge and fools despise wisdom and instruction. Right. So of course the, the, the first thing we need to have is Chachama, all right, the, the actual wisdom, all right, by fearing Yahweh by Shemiram Shah. Alright? And through of course that 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 wisdom, having that fear in your rock, alright, for Yahweh by Shemiram Shah, we of course can perform what is written within the law. Alright, we can act it what what is written in the scriptures. And which is going to deliver us a various diverse right. situations. Okay. Yeah, like if I may make a point on that, like the scripture or a law that says we are not to make any marks upon ourselves. Yep, cuttings okay? in the flesh. Yep. Or right. cuttings in the flesh. See that the whole thing of it is most people don't even know yep. about that law. Yep. They yep. just think that this is a part of a technolo techn technological advancement as well as you know, convenience. So a lot of people are going to be down with taking the RFID yeah. microchip. Yeah, if, but it, if it ain't for just the name of convenience and the fashion of it, which most people embrace the fashion and customs of this Western uh, culture, any of them way, okay? If it isn't out of that reason, it'll be out of desperation, not knowing that they're committing the ultimate sin right there. God. Us in the know, and Lord's will, we keep our integrity, we're going to fulfill that to the letter. You ain't putting no goddamn fucking uh, mark in us. Yeah. You ain't putting no RFID yeah. microchip in us. You're going to have to basically kill us, which would be more righteous than us to give up that integrity. Yeah, and like just to add on to your point, like the brother said, it's like that's a good point. Like the fact that if you just simply know that law of not, you know, not putting no cuttings in your flesh, you, you would save yourself from death just on, uh, just on that alone. But people are willingly ignorant of the law. You know, when we teach them the law, you know, they, they, they try to like do a run around, you know, saying that the law is done away with. But just by simply knowing the scriptures and the law, it would save you from a, from a heap of death. Right. From from a great death. Because we know that if you take that that, that uh, curse or that, right. that um, in, in balance with faith, right. which I have a precept, it's right. Isaiah 33 and 6. It says, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time and strength of salvation. So you the, the, to have the knowledge and wisdom of laws, have the knowledge and wisdom of these scriptures, is going to save you and give you ultimately salvation. Now know the name of the Lord, that's salvation. Right. I got so, a precept for you. This is Proverbs 3 and 1. My son, forget not my law, yeah. but let thine heart keep my commandments. 
for length of days and long life and peace yeah. shall they add to thee. Yeah, because everybody always acts like, and, and, and that's in uh, the John, right? Um, and, and his commandments are not grievous, and then it's like Second John five and three, right. roughly. Uh, it's it's one of those, right? Because there's two about the command about the law. Uh, but that, that's right there. It says. Um, Read that again real quick. Yep, this is Proverbs 3 and 1. My son, forget not my yep. law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. Yep. For length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. For length of days, because that, that's the point right there. So the commandments aren't grievous. They're there for our benefit, all right? They're there for the nation. They, it was given up to the nation of Israel because people always like, they want to have like an excuse for everything, you know? Look, the Lord said not to do it, and it's to our benefit. It's to long life, okay? Because mm -hmm. when you go know in the law, tells you of course to honor thy mother and thy father that way your days be long yeah, yeah, yeah. you know you can get it um you know so that's of course having that knowledge of that law you will know not to dis disrespect all right your parents and such, all right you know yeah so you, whether you know you in the world and such you know when you was in the world you did some of us didn't know the, the law and such now you know in which that's going to deliver you out of any different judgments which Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai had. Yep. All right? Got a precept. Uh, so first John 5 and 3. For this is the love of the power. Right. The point is, is in order for us to obtain that salvation and that mercy of the Heavenly Father, we have to do what pleases Him. Yep. What pleases Him is keeping that level of obedience yep. by complying with the law. It, it, and it, we it, establish it, the law through faith. It also comes out to, okay? to the fear of the Lord. I bring out all exactly. the time. Exactly. And, 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 and the truth is, is where fear isn't present, you're able to make a mistake mm -hmm. because you're not accurately yeah, yeah. making that decision the right way. Yep. Fear helps govern your decision making. Exactly, yep. And you need to have that righteous fear to be how about shy to be able to make the decisions in these last times. Otherwise, you're going to be strongly misguided. You're going to fall into these snares and these traps and you're going to be ultimately destroyed, man. And the, the thing about fear is it's not presently in the Lord's people right yeah, now, yeah, which yeah. is why the majority of the nation of Israel is going to be fucking destroyed, man. Yeah. Yeah, they're not aware of the no, consequences. my friends, yeah. but that's just what it is. They're ultimately not aware of the consequences. I bring this out all the time. Right. The, the fear of the Lord is literally fearing the consequences of not doing what it is that you're, you're meant to do. Right. So, like, you know that if you do A, B, and C, it's going to cause immediate death. You know, you know you're not going to do that. Why do you fear immediate death? But the majority of our people don't fear the Lord because they don't fear, the, like, the Lord is slow to anger, right? But quick in wrath. Because of that, they're willingly ignorant to go off. So because of that, because they have no fear, because they 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 they, they um, take the Lord's um, slow to wrath for weakness, you know, they're going to be completely de devoured. Well, they're by taking them. this mercy that the Lord yeah, that's has it, opened mercy. up yep, 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 yep. to the nation of Israel for granted. Exactly. That's that's better. They're taking it for granted. granted. Exactly. Yeah, so they don't have that fear of the Lord, you know, which that fear of the Lord is going to ultimately be that salvation, because fear of the Lord is following the statutes, following the statutes of commandments. Right. It, through faith. Through yep. faith. No. It's First John five and three. For this is the love of the power that we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not grievous. Yeah, I had it too. Just... Yeah, kind of. Yep. Yeah. And I just want to look at the word grievous real quick, because that's you know that's what everybody you know moans and groans when they hear about the, the you know the, the laws and what you're not supposed to do. Well, that's it's... because the Lord even said that men rather love uh, darkness because their deeds were evil. Yep. So grievous. So it is grievous to those who are accustomed to, to, to committing wickedness. Because that's what they enjoy, okay? They enjoy the fruitful works of darkness. That's just good. Get that. Get that. You know? Yeah. They enjoy the fruitful works of darkness. That's why the Lord said that two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Yep. So the uh, the, the word uh, for grievous is uh, in the Greek, barus. It says heavy in weight, metaphorically burdensome. Right. Severe, stern. Violent, cruel, and unsparing. That's how they literally treat these, uh, treat these um, laws. Right, I have to stop smoking weed? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. I, that's my whole life right yeah. there. Right. I mean, <laughs> niggas literally labor <laughs> just so they can get high, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they labor just so they can commit adultery. Right. They, that's what is fruitful for them in their mind. Sin. Okay? For them, that's the payoff. They get to commit adultery. They get to get high. Yep. They don't know how to fucking think beyond drugs and whoredom. They have to live in the pleasures of this world. Yeah, they don't they don't they can't go beyond the flesh, which only bites them in the ass at the end, because they're gonna have to pay the consequences of those sins. Okay. They they're gonna have to pay the ultimate wage. Uh, uh, wage. Exactly. They have to pay that ultimate price for their evil deeds. 
which is going to be concentration camps. It's going to be martial law. It's going to be the RFID microchip. It's going to be watching your family being slaughtered. Okay, it's going to be you subject to cannibalism. It's going to be you destroyed by a thermonuclear missile. That's what we're talking about. But see, the men of the Lord and their families are going to be protected because we have been spiritually preparing for these times and absorbing and digesting what it is that the Lord expects from us and trying our best through faith to establish those things so that we are innocent in the sight of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and Lord's will get that salvation. Uh, real quick, I just want to hit some of these uh, yeah, yeah. scriptures on the comment board. Some of these brothers put some quick scriptures on the comment board, so we're just going to kind of hit a couple of them. Yeah, so you got that one, um, and I got, I'm going to get Proverbs 15. I know you're shy, you got, got, yeah. got yeah, this, uh, We're just going to blow through them real quick. Yeah, you know, just real good quick, Sirach chapter 2 and 8, Karawai reads, Ye that fear Yahweh, believe him, and your reward shall not fail. Mm. Oh, man. And now, now I'm going to get the other brother, brother's precept. Um, yeah, 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 well, Aitiza. He's on there. Shalom, brother. Yeah, uh, shalom, call Akim. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 shalom, shalom call Akim. Shalom, Makala. Uh, keep the key. Yeah, shalom, Makala. Yeah, 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 I see him on the comment board. Shalom, Makala. Hey, shalom. So, That's you know, you're going to keep these, keep these scriptures coming, you know. Uh, so, Proverbs 15 and uh, 33, this is going to back up uh, very beautifully with this. Uh, the fear of the Lord, or the fear of Yahweh, is the instruction of wisdom, and before honor is humility. Mm. See, the fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom. Yeah, like I said... If you have where fear is present, you're able to govern yourself. Okay, yep. that's why it's important to keep the fear of Yahweh Hashem at the center of all that you do, because it's going to prevent you from making unnecessary mistakes. Okay, it's going to prevent you from making bad choices, and that's what you're going to need to be equipped with in the times ahead, man. So you'll be able to navigate through the chaos, so here, here. keeping the fear of Yahweh Hashem yeah. within you at all times. Go ahead. And, and this, this, uh, the brother, this brother put this precept up there. This uh, encompasses all around us. Uh, Deuteronomy 6 and 24. It says, Yahweh commanded us to do all these statues to fear Yahweh, our power. Right? All those commandments that were all 613 was to ultimately show fear to our Lord. You know? Right. He said, hey, look, don't do this thing. So if you just go ahead and willingly be ignorant of that and just go out and do, do whatever the fuck you want to do, that's you sure you're disrespecting the Lord. One who's you know who set us and ordained us as uh, uh, his his people. You know, disrespecting him. You want to do that to your father? Well some of you might some, some, some of you might because y'all Yeah, if you do it to the ultimate yeah. father, you're gonna do it to your exactly. physical yeah. father. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Con. Con. And these yep. niggas are just that with you. Exactly, yep, yep, con. That says and Yahweh commanded us to do all these statues to fear Yahweh our power. For our good always, that he might preserve us alive as it is this day. So. Yeah, come on. And, and uh, I don't know if your brother got precepts, but I'm going to go back to Samus. Unless you got something. You got something? Yeah, I'm going to go back to Samus then. Whenever. Yeah, and I also, I got something, but uh, unless y'all get something, you know, if you have it first. And this is uh, Proverbs chapter 21, verse 16. It says, the man that wandereth out of the way of understanding oh, yeah, yeah, yep. shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Exactly, yep. And that's how that's, that links up beautifully with the you know the dead bones or the dry yeah, bones of yeah, yeah. yeah. having no spirit. You, the, uh, the majority of our people are dead. Yeah. That's why the Lord set men out like us, you know, to breathe in the breath of life yeah. into these dry bones, into these dead bones, into these dead spirits. Because everybody walking around as zombies right now, yeah. you know. And, and, and we will, you know, we go out there highway on the highways and byways. We do these videos to Lord willing bring in you know the, the dead. And bring them back and, and give them that life, that breath of life. Well, yeah, and we, well, we understand that really, uh, get Ephesians 2 and 8. Really, we understand that, um, you know, certain men weren't, weren't given the spirit of the Lord, right? They weren't given, they weren't given faith. Because that breath really represents the, the Holy Spirit, okay? Which allows you to be able to actually see these things, okay? The veil has been lifted up off of our minds, meaning the Lord has certain men, okay, women and children who are blocked from this knowledge. The Lord calls that the spiritual slumber of sleep. We acknowledge that the Most High got them in that condition. There's nothing that we could possibly do for them. But on the flip side of that, there are certain men that, okay, because it begins with the men, all right, as per the order of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. It's up to that man, once he receives the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, to get himself in order, to get his household in order, so on and so forth, right? Um, do you have Ephesians 2 and 8? Yeah, you got it. I, Ephesians, I get it right quick. I got it. Oh, you got it? Yeah, because the, 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 just kind of bringing that point 
um, full circle, yeah. in order for you to have the breath, you need to have been given the faith. Yeah. Okay, without faith, it is impossible to please Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shai. This is a uh, so you need to have faith, and faith is only given to a certain certain group, and that's the Lord's elect, beginning with them. Okay, and then of course you have the rest of the one third that is subscribed to the truth because of their works. Okay, works that were committed by our apostles and our elders at Great Millstone. Okay, works that that proceeded. All right, from their elders. Okay. So uh, Ephesians 2 and 8, for by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of the power. Exactly, it is a gift of the most high. The very fact that we're able to sit before you, okay, right now in the yeah. studio lesson, and or stand before you on the highways and byways is a gift from the Heavenly Father who enlightened us with his heavenly glory and has yeah. given us the grace of truth. Yeah. And, and, and it's not good, but not okay. good. It ultimately came to come back to our knowledge. Yeah. That's grace. That's mercy. Yeah. Yeah. To finally come into the understanding of who we are as the Lord's people. Okay? And to have this hope of salvation. When the Lord talks about such a catastrophic time in which we're entering into. To be able to have a hope of being redeemed from all of that, yeah. man. So it is not of ourselves. Okay? okay? It is a gift of the power through faith. Wait, Krisa. Come. There's a book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 9 and verse, and I'm going to do verse 17. It says, in, the, in thy counsel, who hath known except thou give wisdom mm -hmm. and send thy Rechakodash and the Holy Spirit right. from above? Right. Again, or, we have been given that faith through the power of the Holy Spirit. That veil has been peeled back from our minds in order for us to absorb and digest this truth. That's why when we saw the apostles and the elders, okay, at whatever point we saw them on YouTube or whether or not we had the opportunity to see them in person, we were able to receive what it is that we're saying because of, we had been given that beautiful gift of faith, which is mercy of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We were enlightened through the Holy Spirit and then off of that little bit of faith that we received, we built and we grew. And we became stronger. Uh, read right. on verse 18. Because again, Salaki, brother, but the Most High is also the one that gives us the increase. Right? Yeah. You have one that plants the seed, one that water it, but the Most High gives the increase. Again, that's our lot. We water, we plant seeds, but it's up to the Most High to give the increase. Again, bringing it back, we understand that only the elect will receive this. And that's what this, that's what this message is for. That's why we're encouraging. Again, this is an exhortation as well as hopefully an inspirational video to continue in the things that thou hast learned. Add on to yourself virtue, okay, temperance, knowledge, wisdom. It's what you're going to need to be able to survive these times, man. It's what's going to keep you stable and balanced when all hell breaks loose. So come with me. Come. Verse 9 and 18, it said, For so the ways of them which lived on earth were reformed, and men were taught the things that are pleasing unto thee, mm -hmm. and were saved through come our wisdom. Yeah. Beautiful. Selfless. It's, 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 hey, it's quite clear. It's clear. I don't even need to break that down. Huh. Yeah, another precept that I, uh, Michael has on the comment board. This is the book of, uh, concerning fear. This is a first Samuel chapter 12 and verse 14. And it reads, If Ye will fear Yahweh and serve him and obey his voice and no are not rebel against the commandment of Yahweh, then shall both ye and also the king that reigneth over you continue following the Lord your power. Okay? But if you will not obey the voice of Yahweh, but rebel against the commandment of Yahweh. Then shall the hand of Yahweh be against you as it was against your fathers. Come. Okay? Let's go into it a little bit. Huh? Come. And so, you know, having, of course, that that righteous fear and such, okay, that's, of course, how we please Yahweh Shem Yahweh Okay? Now, when, of course, we as the, the nation of Israel, when we rebel against Yahweh Shem Yahweh he's against us and he'll bring forth judgment. That's why we've been put throughout these various captivities. That's why it's good to, of course, have a healthy fear 
and be high by Shem Yahshua, especially because we, we were those, those Gentiles that followed after these other dumb idols, all right, walked in these other different ways of life and such. And look at how it destroyed us. Destruction us totally, yeah. you know, where you have it where Jake literally, they see the, they see the, they see the Bible, they see the books, they hear the words, they see the prophets, and they still disregard or had the fear, all right? They, of course, are going to experience the death of Moab or not pain. Right. Okay. And that's why I have these brothers getting these two um, presets for me. Okay. Um, to outline what it is that we need to be delivered from. In case, you know, Jake forgot because Jake got, you know, Jake don't got a really good attention span, man. Okay. You know, just because a day might go by where nothing really extreme happens to them, they all of a sudden think that they have nothing to fear anymore. There's nothing to worry about all of a sudden. So let's, we're, we're here to correct and remind that some evil times are ahead, man, and fastly approaching. We're living them now. Uh, so uh, get that preset real quick I said first. You don't have to, not Jeremiah 30, read what you had and then we'll jump to that. Uh, this, is, um, <clears throat> this is Proverbs chapter 20, verse 24. It says, man's goings are of Yahweh. How can a man then understand his own way? Con, you wanted to make a point on that? Con, yeah, like, like the Aqua was saying earlier, like, uh, brothers didn't choose whether we have the fear of Yahweh. The Most High put that in us. He didn't. We didn't choose whether we understood these scriptures or not. The Most High gave us that gift, you know. And uh, these other Israelites weren't given that same gift that the Most High has gave, given us. Perfect. Yep. That's true. That's it. That's it. Done. Um. So from there, uh, get me Jeremiah thirty and seven, and you have Daniel okay, twelve. Okay, okay. Good. This is Jeremiah chapter thirty, verse seven. It says, alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. Right, so this is the reason why we're, um, you know, trying to motivate the Akim who are sincere to continue to fight the good fight of faith and to continue to spiritually equip themselves with all the tools necessary to stay in this fight because ultimately, as the scriptures say, those that endure until the end, the same shall be saved um, because these are the times that we're approaching right here, Jacob's trouble. And it says that, alas, for that day is great, okay? Um, we understand that the scriptures outline it as, as one of the most devastating, worst times ever in history, nor will there ever be a time ever like it. And, uh, you know, we often compare everything that Israel has been through as a nation, okay, whether it have been 70 AD, okay, the different captivities that we've been through, and it will not compare to what is getting ready to happen to Jake in this time. This is what we need deliverance from. So this is not to be taken lightly. Um, so this is this is what we're here to do, man. You know, speak about those lamentations and woes, mornings and woes um, that are fastly approaching. We're even in the times of, of these things, really. When when you consider everything that's going on in the earth, everything is aligning perfectly uh, according to the will of the Most High, and we want to be as prepared as we possibly can be for the. Uh, Salvation of ourselves as well as our loved ones. You know, I can't say any more plainer than that. You know, we want sal if you want salvation, you go and do what the Lord expects you to do and continue in those things and in the fear of Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shai so you can be saved. You know, ultimately it's gonna come down to the election. So that should drive you even more to pursue this that much more, right? Yep, yep. Alright. Um so you read that again and come with Daniel 12 and 1. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. To the last for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Right. The Lord's elect is going to be saved out of it, man. So when, like your brother used the term, shit hits the fan. Yeah, <laughs> when all hell breaks loose, man, <laughs> there's no food. Yeah. All right. And we can see how certain events can create a chain reaction, yeah, right? Power outage could lead to famine, leads to shortage of food, leads to people bugging out, leads to crime. Well, if I can say real, yeah, go, quick, go ahead, real go quick, ahead. The, the state of this condition, these people are, right now are in, are in high alert. Right. They're in such high alert right now, like just a couple, what, a couple like weeks ago, New York, uh, someone's uh, engine backfired and it just caused a whole commotion just over some engine backfire, man. So the, the state of this condition of these people is in high alert. To where even the little, the slightest little bit of thing that's gonna happen is gonna panic these fucking people, right, man. Trigger them. Yeah, as something as simple as a a a, a backfire in someone's the engine. Yeah, they're already, mass hysteria. they're already really sensitive when it comes to masculinity. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Imagine yeah. when some real shit happens. <laughs> yeah, people gonna lose their fucking minds. Exactly. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Especially you women. 
they're like, they're, you know, just so you can understand, it sounds like a chopper going off. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. <laughs> the chopper, like an automatic gun. Yeah, 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 it was a like, boom. Yeah. And then literally everybody started panicking and started fucking running over each other. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's, it's bro, it's, the brother brought this out. It's, it's funny. We're going to go into that scripture. The brother brought out Daniel 12 and 1. Go ahead. Lots of spirit. Yep. 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 You done with that? Yeah. It's uh, Daniel 12 and 1. It says, and at, that, and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble. Right. And, and uh, real quick, uh, give me uh, Psalms 91 and 11. Just to back up that first part of the precept. Just going to hit it real quick. All right. That doesn't mean that uh, Michael is the deliverer. Okay. That means that there are angels put in place that have been commanded to protect and aid Israel. That's always been the case, man. Never heard of a guardian angel before. Right. Well, there was no, a, but the ultimate guardian, there was the a, ultimate protector, the deliverer of the nation of Israel, still remains to be how yeah. shot. That will never change. Yeah, 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 yeah. But there's still angels put in place to keep us on the right path yep. to yep. keep us you know instructed in the right things and to keep us protected throughout our daily lives yeah there was, there was it was it was an angel that showed ezra all the great ones that, right. he, that he knew you know when he when he when he fasted it was an angel that told him they fast for this amount of days and we reveal right. onto him you know because i know that was a doctrine going around yeah, yeah. oh yeah a little while yeah. back that michael all of a sudden was going to be the deliverer of israel not yahweh shot which is complete madness so somebody got Psalms 91 and 11? Yeah, this is the book of uh, uh, the Holy of our Psalms chapter 91 and 11. And it says, For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Right. Keep going. God. <laughs> Verse 12. They shall bear thee up in their hands. Right. Least thou dash thy fit against the, a stone. And it says, and thou shalt tread upon a lion and an adder. The young lion and the dragon shall thou trample under feet. Yeah. Because he slack you. No, no, I, I eventually eventually that's what's gonna happen. But the, the the latter verse is what I wanted. The previous verse is what I wanted about the angels. Yeah. Okay? So we have guardian angels. We have angels put in place that are gonna protect us. Yeah. Okay. That, that's the point. It doesn't make them Yahweh Shai. It yep. just means that they have a purpose that they serve. Yep. Okay, yeah. And that's for the protection of the Israelites. That's right. Um, you know, they're our brothers, technically. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so now come back with Daniel 12. It was Daniel 12 and 1. It says, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which stands for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation. Even to that same time, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. Right. So deliverance is coming, but we want to ensure our survival by keeping ourselves, you know, pure in the sight of the Awabashi Yahweh keeping ourselves unspotted so that we can be partakers of that salvation. Okay? Spiritually equipping ourselves with all the tools. And weaponry, okay, scriptural weaponry, that is, okay, uh, to be able to endure all things, okay? So we, at least we get taken in the destruction, all right? You know, the brother just read Jeremiah 13, 7 about Jacob's trouble. We followed up with Daniel 12 and 1, man. This is going to be the worst destruction ever, man. The worst time ever. Um... Anybody else have anything? Yeah. All right, come come with it. This is uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1. It says, But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of Yahweh so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. And that's the time that we're in, man. You know, we're at a time where people are, got this, they got really a false sense of security. Yeah, they're ignorant of the times. We're not ignorant of the times, but they are. They think that they're in good case. They think they're in a time of peace and Earth. safety, right? Earth. Best economy ever. Yeah. You know? Trump unemployment. Right. Under Trump 2020. Trump 2020. MAGA, make, making America hats. great again. Yeah, all that. 
So when they shall say peace and safety, they don't realize that the sudden destruction is, is right here, man. It's at the door. Yep, yep. Go ahead. It says, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Right. And nobody is going to escape the wrath of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shad, man. All right? Because the Lord's indignation is upon all flesh, okay? All those that do not serve him. All right, beginning with the two thirds of the nation of Israel, because you you Israelites, man, are going to get messed up in this in, in this in this martial law in this Jacob's trouble. All right, and imagine uh, the progression of a race ride during a blackout, man. You know, so there's going to be a lot. There's a lot, man. It still has to happen. There's a lot that is in the works, but we see everything perfectly aligned coming to pass. You know. But at the end of the day, man, Esau, Edom is the most high sword, and Edom is going to come down with really great wrath, man, terrible wrath, you know, worse than all the previous captivities, okay, worse than the Roman Empire, worse than 70 AD, man, okay? Esau got all this technological advancement he's been dying to use on you Israelites, man, and he's going to use it, okay? All types of torture tactics, Okay, he's going to starve the people out. He's going to prep them for the chip. So this Edom, I got a lot in store. But ultimately, Esau's going to pay. Everybody's going to pay for their evil, their wickedness, man. All right? So none will escape. Go ahead. It says, but ye brethren are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. It says, ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Yeah, the light meaning we're in the, we're in the know. We have the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that the power and spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Okay? Darkness represents lack of understanding or confusion. Alright? We're not in that darkness. We fully understand things. We understand that these things are going to happen in our lifetime. Okay? We understand why there's all these wars and rumors of wars. We understand why, you know, the economy of America is truly at a deficit. It's the worst it's ever been. Okay, we understand the reason why the UK is trying to pull away from the EU. Yep. We understand these, these different trade agreements that are going on right now that are excluding the United States of America because the Lord said that thy hump is being brought down to the grave. Yep. All right? Wow. And the noise of thy vows. It says yep. that the worm cover thee and is spread over thee. The decay okay. is, 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 is running crazy right now through America. Okay? Wow. Economically, okay, uh, Internationally, Divisions. Divisions. yeah, everything, man. This whole place is in a state of decline and decay, is my point, okay? As per the prophecy. Go ahead. It says, therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Yeah, let us not sleep as do others. Sleep meaning that they're spiritually asleep, okay? They can't see these things because they have been blinded, okay? By Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh not be able to understand the times in which we're living in. Okay, just like Noah, all right? We're in, the, we're in the spirit of Noah all over again, man, where the people weren't heeding the warning, and therefore, when the flood came, it wiped them all away. Likewise, when that fire comes, it's gonna consume these, these, these wicked individuals, man, okay? And in, in everything leading up to the destruction of America through fire, of course, you know, the famine, pestilence, the plagues, all the different curses that the Lord is going to bring upon this place for destruction. Go ahead. It says, uh, for they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. It says, but let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet the hope of salvation. Come on. Yeah, we're, we're not of the night, meaning we're not of that confused, lack of understanding state of mind. Okay. We're sober. We're, we're collected in our spirits. We see things with clarity, okay, and true perception according to the power and spirit of the Alabashim Yahushai. So that makes us of the day, you know. We're, we're, when you're when it's daytime, you know you're supposed to be active, you know. You can see, right? Lively. You're lively, right? That's that represents us. That represents the Lord's hopefully elect, okay, beginning with His men, His prophets. Um, is that enough? Uh, okay. Uh, Verse 9 says, For the Most High hath not appointed us to wrath, 
but to obtain salvation by mm. our Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Man, that's powerful. The Lord appointed us, the Lord's will were of that elect to obtain that salvation through his son, Yahweh Shai, man. Again, that's what this whole lesson is, is about, man. Making sure that we're equipped to be able to endure all things, the Lord's will receive and obtain that salvation that the brother just read about, man. That's what we want, man. We don't want to be starving to death. You know, we don't want to have to watch our loved ones get, you know, put to death in front of us and raped and, yeah, man. And shoot, that's our responsibility because an unbelieving woman or child can be justified through a, a faithful man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, 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 you can have enough faith to save your whole family, man. That's why you should want to go hard. The Lord gave us plenty of incentives. If salvation for yourself wasn't enough, the care and love that you have for your loved ones should be enough. Like, you know what? I'm going to do it not only for myself, I'm going to do it for them too, man. It's okay. That, that's how you should, you're supposed to be. You just got to put Yahweh Shai first above all. You know? Some guys can't even understand that. Uh, go ahead, man. Uh, this is a book of Sirach, chapter 14. And verse 14 through 9. It says, For thou shalt be taken away from all and from henceforth Thou shalt remain with my son, this is referring to uh, Ezra's, and with such as be like until the times be ended. For the world hath lost its youth, and the times begin to wax old. For the world is divided into twelve parts, and the ten parts of it are gone already, and half of a ten part, fifth part, and the remaining that which is after half of a tenth part. Now, therefore, set thine host in order, and reprove thy people. Comfort such of them as be in trouble, and no renounce corruption. Let go from the mortal thoughts, and cast away the burdens of mind. Put off now the weak nature, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, and haste thee to flee from these times. Sorry, flee from these times. Yep. For, for yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. Right. Basically, what, what's going on is certain parts of the prophecy passed, mm -hmm. and now we're at the latter end, okay, to basically summarize. Being that we're at the end, we have to put off those weak natures, right? Meaning those different times where you felt subject to the flesh, you know? Listen, we're not supposed to be given over to our emotions right now, all right? We have to put all that aside and cast our cares and our burdens on you. Like, oh man, what's gonna become of my family? And you know, what, what's gonna happen during this time? Look, all that that you are concerned about, the Most High has already taken into account for. All that you're required to do is to fulfill His will to the best of your ability, and He's going to deliver you out of all those troubles, you and your family. That's already been accounted for. Not to mention, the Lord said that anything that we lose on this side, we're going to regain a hundredfold in the kingdom to come. And the things that we do lose and lost in this society is not worthy to be compared to what we are going to gain when the kingdom is established. That is what we're fighting for. Okay? That's what it means to be putting off that weak nature, man. You shouldn't be letting anything preventing you from serving our power now that you have the truth, now that you claim to be a man of the Lord, now that you have the faith of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, which is a gift given unto us, man. You shouldn't be letting anything stop you from pursuing your faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. And being constant and diligent in your effort to remain in the good and humble graces of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. I only have one more, unless, of course, you all have something else. I mean, I, I, I you have, have one more, go ahead, but I have a closing precept I'd like to bring up. God, I'm, oh, do you have anything? You got one left. Go, you go. Surat 35, no, one. He that keepeth the law bringeth offering enough, and he that taketh no, heed to the commandment offereth a peace offering. It says, he that, he that requires a good turn offereth fine flower, and he that giveth alms sacrifices praise. To depart from wickedness is a thing pleasing to the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai, and to forsake unrighteousness is a propitiation. Is, is a propitiation. Okay. All right. Yeah, bring that up. So, so this righteous sacrifice that we're doing, they are doing uh, in this time, okay, is enough. All right, us being of the hopeful elect 
is acceptable unto as our right. Lord Yahweh Shemel Shah. Right. Okay. We of course are doing this all in, in faith. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do the different works we did. You know to show you know that we really are integral to our power Yahweh yeah. Shemel Shah. And we trust Him. Yeah. That we trust and have our faith, our faith in Him. Okay. Yeah. Come on. It's not in carnal. It's not in man. It's not in. You know, chariots or horses. Yeah, yep. You know, it's not in the strength. Chariots. Yep, in the strength. Yeah. Of, of anything that you can see within this kingdom. God. Nah, man. It's in Yahweh Bashi, Yahweh Shai, and the things to come. Actually, let me get a precept real quick. Okay. Real quick on that. All right, come. Um, perfect. And then this brother got our closer. Um, so like you know, and, and hopefully, you know, we pray that brothers were uplifted in the spirit, man, and motivated, you know? Sure. Fear is a great, powerful motivator, but, you know, these, these scriptures just totally bring everything into perspective, man. So it's all a balance. Yeah, you got to have the fear, and fear should be present. But, you know, you should be in a joyful spirit knowing that the kingdom is getting ready to be established, man. We're getting ready to be delivered out of here, that's man. Right, that's right. The further that these prophecies progress, you know, the closer we come to that salvation, man. So let's get out of here, man. You know, let's keep yeah. pushing. Let's get the hell up out of Babylon, right? right? Yeah, yeah. You know? Uh, we continue to put up uh, prayers for this kingdom to fall too, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, this is Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. It says, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Beautiful, man. Yeah. Beautiful. Straight to the point. The Lord is going to be our power and our hope is salvation. Like all the other previous times, okay? When Moses and the children of Israel were wandering in the wilderness, who provided for them? The Most High did. They were thirsty, the, lot, the Lord provided them drink. They hungered, the Lord provided them spiritual manna and an actual physical substance. So the Lord will provide a way for us to, sur sur to survive and to sustain ourselves throughout all these evil times. While all these people are suffering, the Lord is gonna provide for his men and their families and his elect, all right? And there are plenty of examples, man. All right. All right. So real quick, I just want to back up what you said earlier. This is Jeremiah 17, 5. Let's say, How will curse be the man that trusted in man and make it flesh his arm, and whose heart departeth from your Come on. I will read that again. Yep. You, and, and if you had, uh, you said you, I, I made a point on that. Yep, yep. Because, you know, you're basically saying about not, not trusting in man, not trusting That's in chariots, right? Yeah. Curse. Uh, well, the scriptures say, Curse who make, uh, trusteth or make man. Is uh, arm? Yeah, that's what this is. Oh, slide. Jeremiah 17 and 5. So I read it. You're right, you're right. Yeah, Jeremiah 17 and 5. Thus say Yahweh, curse be the man that trusted the man and right. maketh flesh his arm. Con, yeah. And whose heart departeth from Yahweh. Whose heart departeth from Yahweh, yeah. Jumping down to verse 7. Blessed is the man that trusted in Yahweh. Right. And whose hope the Lord is. Yeah, how you going to put your trust in, in, in man? They can't deliver themselves. Mm -hmm. yeah. What the hell are they going to do for you? They need salvation, bro. Yep. Okay? But, but only the Lord's elect is going to get that salvation. Yep. And, and, and the, um, the Lord's elect is like-minded. They understand that. they need We need a higher power to get us out of this hell, man. That's right. How the hell is another man going to save you, okay, if the Most High is the one who put us in this captivity? If the Most High is the one that put our oppressor above us? If the Most High is the one who took our power away, he's going to be the half the one to restore it. Exactly. We need him. Exactly. You know? We and, need him, man. And that's why we're going to come in the spirit of Samuel. I'm just going to, look, I'm just going to read a little bit back in 2 Samuel, and then you come with your ending precept. Right, 2 Samuel is the 20th. I, would, I recommend all you brothers to read 2 Samuel the 22nd chapter all the way through, because that's the same spirit that we got to be in, the same spirit got, uh, Samuel was in, and the Lord delivered Samuel for everything that he asked for. Um, I'm just going to hit up a couple more precepts in 2 Samuel 22. I'm going to start at verse 7 now. It says, In my distress I called upon Yahweh and cried to my power, and he did hear my voice, out of his temple and my cry did enter into his ears right then the earth shook and trembled the foundations of heaven moved right. and shook let's talk about the prayer of the righteous availing yeah. much you know the lord the lord hears the prayers of the righteous man yeah. you know sure. the lord is very well pleased when we call upon him and truly put our trust in him man you know god uh says um Verse 8, the earth shook and trembled. The foundations of heaven moved and shook because he was wroth. And the Lord's wroth right now. The Lord's pissed off right now. Mm -hmm. He's angry at the wicked yep. every day. Exactly. Yeah. There, there went up a smoke out of his nostrils and fire out of his mouth. Devouring. Right. I mean, shoot, from his image being crucified yep. 
from 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 Israel taking his name lightly, these prophecies lightly, this word lightly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. From 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 Israel going to whore after other gods, bro. Right? Yeah. From from the continual oppression from the enemy. Yeah. Yeah. And the most high is fed up, man. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. And that's just putting it, that's a euphemism. Yeah, yeah, the, Lord's, the Lord's fed up. Yeah, the Lord's, Lord's beyond fed up. Yeah, the Lord's fed up with all, with his own damn people. What do you think he's you know? How much more is he fed up with you other nations? So, so much more than the ones one. he has a true perpetual hatred for, Forever. an yeah. unending <laughs> hatred for. Yep. The ones who he, who he deemed to be less than nothing, the reputation is nothing to be as on the spittle. I'm going to jump down to verse. Um, I'm going to jump to verse 18 real quick. Uh, he delivered me from my from my strong enemy, and from them that hated me, for they were too strong for me. Right, so right now we have we cannot prevail against Esau on our own. Right, there is nothing that we can do on our own that can prevail against Esau. The Most High is going to have to literally give us the strength. That's what Samuel said. Samuel right. said he delivered me from my enemy, a strong enemy that was too strong for him. Right. The only way we truly are prevailing against our enemies abiding in the truth and exactly. faith of Yahweh Shimon was but, yeah, that, that He said that. Yep. And then um, ultimately, the Lord is manifesting His power, you know, through the Israelites. And of course, it's going to bring about that great destruction and salvation for his elect. That's yep. it. And that's that's the only way we're going to escape a lot. Kind of, yep, yep. That, that's going to back that up, which is exactly what you said. It says, um, it's like, uh, verse 19, that rent me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my stay. He brought me forth also into a large place and delivered me because he delighted in me. The Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to my cleanliness, mm. or cleanness. Uh, according, according to my righteousness, according to my cleanliness. Yep. Now we know that we are only able to attain righteousness through His Son Yahweh Shai. That's yep. how we are able to obtain perfection. You know, because we ourselves fall short. We all, we ourselves fall short of the glory of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. But through the sacrifice which Yahweh Shai has made, beginning with the elect of the nation of Israel, we have been made clean. That's why it's important for us to be establishing our faith through the commandments that we can keep on a daily basis, exactly, yep. you know, and continuing to keep ourselves clean as much as we possibly can, you know, and going on necessary fasts when we right. need to rebuke demons off of us and whatever the case may be, but that we continue to fight that fight, man. Yep. And never, and never, 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 never give up because yep. the Lord is counting that onto us as righteousness, you know, of course, through His Son. Yahweh yeah, Shai, which is how we truly attain the righteousness, because we ourselves are not worthy. Right. We're always going to find a delay. In, right. In that, you know? Because of our faith. Exactly. Yep. And because we are, you know, abiding in the faith through our actions, you know, yep. not just our words, you know. A couple more verses here. Um, like I said, this basically comes to everything that we went into. Uh, verse 21, it says, And Yahweh rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to my cleanliness of my hands, have they recompensed me. Right. Salvation, you know, protection again the enemy yep. you know providing sus sustenance for us yep 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 Food. exactly yep yep resource security it. yep go ahead for i have kept the ways of yahweh and have not wickedly departed from my power for all his judgments were before me and as for his statues i did not depart from them right went into that right i also will i i was also upright before him and so that means no matter how much you're being tested of the enemy you got to remain integral mm -hmm. oh yep 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 and the Lord will will, will will come through, man. And it's in this appropriate yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, you understand? The Lord's all about like time. Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego. The, the Lord's all about time. That means that the Lord likes to put you through a test, man. Right before you're ready to break, that's when the Lord's gonna come and and, and get you. You know, because the Lord said He knows how to deliver the godly out of diverse temptations. Mm -hmm. See, once He sees that, once you've been through that rigorous test and you still remain integral, you're not wavering. The Lord going to give you that salvation right when you need it the most, man. And not a second sooner or later. And that's the beautiful thing about Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Everything is in its perfect time and place. And he has created that perfection. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, his last precept, last verse. Because right, um, we got, we got, we got yeah. the close right here. Last, last verse. Uh, <laughs> verse 23. For all his judgments were before me, and as for his statutes, I did not depart from them. Right. I was also upright before him, and I kept myself from my iniquity. Therefore, the Lord hath recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to my cleanness in his sight. That's what it's all about. Huh? So it's up to us to remain clean as we possibly can through Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, and continue to establish the laws, statutes, and commandments and these precepts. You know, don't just quote them. You need to be applying them in your everyday life. That's what it means to have the wisdom of something, right? You know, the application of knowledge, man. That's wisdom, you know? You don't just say what it is that you think you know, you apply what it is that you know, man. You put it into action. 
right? Yeah. Everything that we speak, our actions need to reflect it. Okay, same thing with your belief. If you really believe something, your actions are going to reflect. You know, you basically externalize whatever is going on internally. You know, so if you truly believe in something, you're going to manifest it outwardly. All right. Uh, okay, a little bit more. One more, man. A little bit no, more. Yeah, a little bit more. I got to read. <laughs> like I said, I recommend all you brothers read all the way through. I'm going to jump down to verse 48 and read to 51 real quick. The second Sam is 22 and 48. We can't quench this. We can't quench the spirit. Yeah. It is, this, this is what we do. It, it, the spirit it is the power that avengeth me and that bringeth down the people under me. Right? This, like I said, we have no power over Esau. It's the Lord that's going to ultimately do that. That's going to avenge us and, 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 and use us to bring them down. Right. He says, well, 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 let's put it this way. We do have power, but if we're talking about force with force, yeah. the Lord withdrew us from our ability to exactly. do that. Yeah. Exactly. We can't fight against Esau carnally, essentially. Mm -hmm. But we do have power. Because well, well, our power yeah. is essentially these, this word. This is what's actually bringing Esau down as we speak. Yeah. Is the is, is the proclaiming and declaration of these words? That's what's destroying this man right now. That's why he getting ready to bug out and come in that Revelation twelve and twelve spirit. Yeah. He knows that he has a short time. Yeah. How does he know? Because the prophet's been awakened. Mm -hmm. We telling him of his downfall, and he's trying to figure out how how we came to the conclusion of these things. Well, through our power, again, through our power, because we do have power, but the utilization of our power is very specific okay we have been commanded to speak and to preach and to teach and not to do anything above what is our strength ultimately the lord is going to give us that power and we are going to put our enemies in subjection but yahweh shy he's the one coming to, to redeem and claim what is his and that's the dominion of everything man he coming back to take what's his yep, yep. all right yep. all praises on the yahweh shim yahweh shy man yeah because it's all onto him all credit Honor and yeah, glory is yeah, due yeah. unto him. And that's, it ain't that, gonna be what we do, it's gonna be what we do because of him. Yeah, and that's what Samuel was saying this whole this yeah. whole chapter. Samuel was saying he, he even said that yeah. he got the power to take down the enemy, but it was all based upon the right. Lord. The Lord right. is the one that gave him the power to take it. Okay, well, let, me, let me not jump the gun. This is second Samuel 22 and 49. And that bringeth me forth from my enemies, they'll also lift me up on high. So right? So Samuel's lifted up on right. high by who? By the most high. Yeah. And we're waiting for that exaltation. Exactly, exactly. Yep, yep, that's beautiful. Above them that rose up against me, thou hast delivered me from the violent man. Yeah. So just like Samuel was delivered from the violent man, we're going to be delivered, Lord willing, we're of the elect, we're going to be delivered from the violent man. We all know who the violent man is. Right. Therefore I will give thanks well, unto... the ultimate violent yeah, man yeah, is exactly, Esau. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, therefore I will give thanks unto thee, O Yahweh, among the heathen, and I will sing praises unto thy name. He is the tower of salvation for his king. And showeth mercy to his anointed unto David and to his seed forevermore. Right, and well, I mean, and that goes into the, the, to the, the history because the Lord did did spare uh, Samuel and the Lord did spare David mm -hmm. because David was anointed to be king. Right, so you know, and, and in a like manner, the the, the, the the parallel is he's going to spare his elect. Okay, yeah, yeah. You no, know? because the Lord does talk about how we're going to renew our strength like David. Right. Yeah, yeah. So he's also going to raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen. So there are all parallels there to be made. So for sure, yeah, that's definitely it. That's it. Um, uh, go ahead. Did you have something? Look like you had something real quick. Um, uh, yeah, real quick. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This. Uh, this is. A, I had. I had two. All right. All right. <laughs> slot here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, slot. It's that's a, good. It's good. It's, it's a rock chapter two. This was a wee bit earlier. It's a two and seven. It says, "Ye that fear you, how will wait." For his mercy. Mm, that's it, man. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Patience. Mm -hmm. Patience is a virtue, right? Well, in, in patience, possess ye your souls, yeah. man. Gotta be patient, man. Gotta wait on y'all about me on shy. Wait ye upon me, the Lord said. You know? So that means no matter what we're going through, gotta be patient and wait, man. Gotta endure all that we gotta endure and just wait. We're gonna deliver us, but we gotta wait. Right? Yeah, and go not aside, lest ye fall. Mm. It says, uh, ye that fear. Yeah, because if you try to go another way, you're going to fall, man. You're going to fail and you're going to be destroyed, man. You're going to have to pay the consequences <laughs> of that. Go ahead. It says, ye that fear the Lord, believe him, and your reward shall not fail. Perfect. Beautiful. Yep. 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 Salvation you know, for us and our family. Mm -hmm. you know? Another last one, three, which is in this book right here. It's uh, one, uh, 115 Psalms, all right? Uh, starting at, or really verse, it was verse, uh, yeah, 11. It says, 
I'm gonna start action tense. Like, no, that's good. Go ahead. Or maybe not. It's like it's like it says, "Oh Israel, <laughs> trust thou in Yahweh. He is their help and their shield." Yeah. Oh house of Aaron, trust in Yahweh. He is their help and their shield. Ye that fear Yahweh, trust in Yahweh. Mm -hmm. He is their help and their shield. Magan, right? Yep, Magan. Yeah. Yep, that's it. Magan. And you have there. Yep. Magan. Which is uh, what's there again? Ma. Ma. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Kind of, yep. Yep. Magan. Yep. It says the the Lord hath been Yahweh hath been mindful for us. He will bless us, and He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless them that fear Yahweh, both small and great. Right. Yeah, and Aaron basically representing the priesthood. You yeah. know? Yeah, so we're we, king of the kingdom. Yeah, so we're a kingdom of priests. Yeah. Okay? So that represents us now. Okay? We're, we're an extension of that. The Lord's, the Lord's prophets. Um, what you got? <coughs> this is uh, Job chapter 5, verse 19. Come on. It says, He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven there shall no evil touch thee. Mm -hmm. Continue. And it says, In famine he shall redeem thee from death, and in war from the power of the sword. You see that, man? So the Lord really is going to deliver us from all evils, man. God. But it's important for us to continue in the things which we have learned, continue to establish them in our daily lives, man. All right? Mm -hmm. And continue to remain clean and pure in the sight of the Alabai Shemel Shai so we can partake of these uh, rewards, these salvations, man. Go ahead. Verse 21 says, Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. Mm -hmm. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh, yep. neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. Con. Yeah, when the Lord put that different spirit out there on these beasts, which is already a different spirit on them. Why like the animals <laughs> keep attacking people, man? Yeah, just really tearing them up. Yeah, ripping, ripping them bits. Yeah. <laughs> so I it says, For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. God. So, hey, man, you know, we hope, brothers, we're motivated, you know, encouraged, you know. Um, you know, hey, this whole thing is about doing better with each day, you know, focusing on the things that you can improve on and, and make it happen, man. You know, be goal-oriented. You know, where would you like to see yourself, you know, a, a day from now, a week from now, a month from now, if we got that long. You know, and, and, and work spiritually to build yourself up to that point, man, every single day, you know. And uh, that's what I would encourage you to do as well as for myself. And that we continue to please our power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, so we can get delivered up out of here, man. You know? Oh, so I might have stopped. Did it stop? Or low battery. They say low battery. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah, no, it's still good. good. It's still, it's still good. No, it stop. Can you hit the okay button? Uh, well, like, what, where? Like the X? Yeah, yeah. Those are stuff on that in there. All right, it should be good enough. Did it really stop? I'm not sure, but. So, all right. Well, if it did, it did. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's good now. It's, it's good now. It's working now. Slack, slack, yeah, Akim. Yeah, we don't know how long we've been down, but we just read the, the, the closer. He's going to give all praises on to you. How about Shim and uh, hey, man, the double honest to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Yeah. Salaki, man, I guess we had some sort of technical difficulty. Yeah, they're saying yeah. it's good now, so all right. Yeah, so yeah. I don't, we we went to a whole lot. No, so I, 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 they, 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 I don't know how long yeah. it was down. God. But um, no, irregardless, we hope that you brothers were edified, man. Just keep strong. I think they heard us, but it was just for all. All right. And, uh, you know, hey, shalom. Yeah, you know, shalom. 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 Shalom.